Hey, what's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's Canon Educator. We are here in beautiful London. We just wrapped up an awesome seminar here. I wanna just say thank you everybody for coming out and I can't wait to see you next time. All right, so what are you guys working on? She's human dog reactive. We can get her to a stage now where she, we can get her passing people and dogs fairly okay, but it's just closing that gap a bit and obviously you get the odd dog or whoever running over and she'll just lose it. So in those situations, I suppose, just having a bit more control and she's just generally very nervous. Uh, she's How had, old is she? She's, she'll be three in January, so she's, um, her litter were dumped at three weeks without their mum and basically from day one she's been She's terrible with children. Very, very insecure, nervous. Okay. She doesn't look it, but you, you take one more step forward and she'd freak out probably. Yeah. So yeah. Really similar story with this with Luna actually. She was a Romanian rescue as well. So she was like a, a street dog. She didn't know what a washing machine or a microwave, just everything with stimulation overload. So she's very reactive to everything even now. If someone shuts a door, shuts a car door, it's just everything triggers her. I made a little list. Good. She's reactive around dogs, people. She shows aggression towards people she doesn't know, but she's lovely once she does know them. She muzzle punches people. Have you trained her in the muzzle at all? No, okay. no. She, she doesn't bite, she will jump and bark in your face. And she pulls in the lead, although she's a lot better than she was. Yeah. Uh, that's been a lot better. Um, and she's really aggressive, people talking to me in really close proximity. Like this? <laughs> We're okay because she's got really bad separation anxiety and my mum's over there, so that's uh, what she's worried about. As but if if my right. mum was here, she'd have a problem with us talking because that's a bigger issue. Okay. She's been through a lot of behaviorists, uh, four behaviorists. Okay, what did they do? Not a lot. Okay. Um, they just sit there and take notes. The last one was really helpful. She, she was the only one who was really familiar with German Shepherds um, and she is like, 80% German Shepherd. Yeah, looks like it's just a um, So she, she, she corrected a few things, um, yeah. and that we made a bit of progress there. But the other, the rest of them, we just wait for the wait for her to do the right thing and then reward her. Then yeah. Ren was people aggressive, which is better. Uh -huh. um, she'll seek out affection now as long as people don't come in fast. She's quite happy to see people, isn't she? Recall we're working on, but if there was a bird, she'd be after the bird. So. We had bought an e-collar on the basis that that's what we wanted to, to work on. She's fine with all of these. She's very controlled. I can stack her next to a dog in a dog show, fine. If that dog stepped forward, she would show her teeth and say that she wasn't comfortable. And I know that, that for a reactive dog, the threshold being that right. much is a really, really big step, but she can tell the difference between a dog that's overexcitable and likely to come over and a calm dog. She can spot it for a mile away and, and you know and that's when she's ready to react so i suppose it's just closing that gap a little bit more more control with off lead dogs would be nice and then just building on her recall and her general reactivity but she is a lot better when we booked two months ago or however long it was she yeah. was a lot worse i was hiding in bushes in march positively training completely just trying yeah. to stuff treats in her sure. face and <coughs> failing and, and, and birds is her thing really so she'll follow something flying rather than on the ground, which makes it a little bit difficult. Yeah, that makes sense considering the breed, you know? Yeah. I thought I might get some level of control in, but I don't really. So right now that's like a head halty type thing? Yeah. How's it working for you? It's good. Like, um, what we like about it is where if she, there's a moment where an off-leash dog comes over, it does close around her mouth, so it means she doesn't have to wear ah. a muzzle. And we can kind of control her much nice. better than a flat. That's thing. creative. To be able to g give a dog pressure and shut their mouth in a case of an emergency without having to muzzle them constantly, I've never, I've never thought of that. Yeah, no, it, wor it works a lot better for us than a flat collar or a slip leash, because if something, sh she's also got high prey drive, so if she really uh, wants to go for something, the slip yeah. leash. One of the main reasons why the head halties uh, do really good with dogs is because there's two, there's pressure points there. There's a pressure point here and there's a pressure point here. So when applying that pressure, it just kind of like horsemanship, you apply this pressure and the, the animal will kind of work with you a, a bit uh, easier with more fluidity. I feel like we'd never correct this hard enough and I'm too scared to push it. So yeah. it'd be interesting to see what you think about how hard we should do Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's just see how your <clears throat> your healing is first. Um, so again, we're going to try to counter it with some 
uh, and again, I, I want to say this is a bit unrealistic for dogs that are really reactive. But for, for the dog trainers out there, doing basic counter conditioning for reactivity, giving a dog an alternative to do something else is a, is a great option. Because you're like, hey, let's do this instead. They're like, oh, I know what that is. Cool, because I didn't want to bark anyway. I don't really know what I'm doing. See the heel. Good. See the heel. Come on. So what you want to try to do is when you turn, yeah. try to see if she'll turn with you without the leash. Yeah. Pop. So heel. And then, yes, good yeah, girl, yeah. come on then. Yeah, there you good go. Girl. But if you if you do that positive reinforcement, really yep. just let the dog know, hey, you're doing great. Yep. You see the immediate body yeah. change there. You see that hang time that we have when we turn, the dog's kind of hanging out. Yeah. Be, be empathetic a bit. Like, let the dog make a, a good decision to say, yeah, okay. Because it's you want to empower the dog to make better decisions because ultimately it creates confidence. If we're constantly picking and like, hey, bang, hey, bang, hey, bang, hey, bang, they're like, well, I'm going to damn if you do, damn if you don't, because I'm going to get corrected either way, and now I'm frustrated, and now I'm going to be more reactive. And so if you can ask a dog to do something very small and then pay them royally for it, your relationship and your engagement will start to get better, and they're going to be happier to work for you. So then what ultimately ends up happening is the whole world around them is less interesting because it's an inside job between you and your dog. Everything around you disappears. It's kind of like last night after we all met. I had a beer in front of me. Everything around me disappeared, right? <laughs> so do you have verbal commands that you usually use? Or you I would just... say heel. Okay. Good heel. Yeah. And she'll take the treat and then she'll check out. I think you were saying yesterday that you, the positive reinforcement only works yeah. when there's not other dogs around or something. She's like a, a business dog. She'll only do the transaction if it's within her interest. <laughs> yeah, sure. Good. Good. And just try to pay attention where you're going. Like have your nut, yeah, and just body posture up. Stick your shoulders straight. So just wait to feel if she's tugging and then Yeah, and then, yeah, her. yeah. It's like fishing. Yeah. You're not going to just, right. you don't want to look at the line. That'll be boring. You just wait until it pulls, you pull back, essentially. When you're handling, you want to just like be confident here and just walk forward like this and just hold her here and just kind of feel her out a, a little bit. Because it's not realistic. If I, you know, if, if you were my client, which you are, and you go out and do that, you're gonna run straight into traffic or a car or something. You don't wanna do that. It's, it's just, it's, it's too much work. And if she's doing well, you can say good heel. She doesn't always need that food. You might see something here, but. I think so? I don't know. Put her into a sit. In a sit? Good. She's quite happy, so maybe not. Good. Yeah, see how she's starting to build? Yeah. So you stay there, don't, don't walk at me, and then, We'll work on this a little bit. Good. Now she's happy. Yeah. She knows what's in your hand. Yeah. If you held something in your hand, like you had your phone or you want to do it? anything that looks like a weapon. Oh um, God. <laughs> <laughs> there, leave. She doesn't like laughing or clapping. That will trigger her as well. Yeah so, yeah, so when she does that, that's where you can give her that pop. Not now. You're just going to tell her to leave it. You're just going to give her that little correction. So you got to be consistent. So if you do it one time and you're like, hey, that's inappropriate because somebody laughed over there. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Like if you want her to do that and it's okay, then let her. But if you don't, you got to stay consistent and say, hey, leave it. Correction. Yeah. <laughs> Correct? I forgot. Yeah, it's okay. So that'll be the, the leave it and then the pop. Okay. Do it again. There. It's okay. Sorry, I, I, That's okay. I, um, I have a lot of anxiety. Um, it's okay. So sometimes my I get like brain frog and I forget to it's fine. do the right thing. So let me show you. You're gonna hold that. Do I then reward her for being quiet? If she does good. Okay. I'm gonna walk you through it right now. Yep. Feel that pop? Yep. That's what you wanna do. So bark, bark, leave it. And then she stops. Yes, good, leave it. It's discouraging the barking because obviously that creates stress for everybody. Uh, if she's barking because she's nervous or she's stressed, she'll make better decisions. So it's a bit of uh, suppression. So she's like, I don't want to get in trouble. But then she's like, well, this is kind of better. So you're not going to correct that, the whining, because that wouldn't be fair. But when she barks because I just go like this and she goes, rawr, rawr, you go, hey, pop. Leave it. There, good. That was a bit of a pull. This is the hardest thing, by the way. You're doing great. I know when she yawns, it's like she's stressed, actually listening yes. to me and it's stress leaving for yep. herself. So. Yep. Everyone's like, oh, she's yawning, she's stressed. Yeah, that's just, dogs get stressed. It's a, like to, to live in a world where we train dogs where they don't get stressed is insanity. It's like Willy Wonka, it doesn't exist. Go ahead, you can just heal her forward. So just get your groove in here for a little bit and just heal, it, heal her about. And we'll do this a couple more times. You're just gonna work on that pop. It's the hardest thing for my clients is that pop. How firm is the pop? Because I can't really, because 
It's more, it's more fast than it is hard. More, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's more like Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just. There you go. Good. Leave. Good, bad. Leave. Good. So try more of a flick there. And, and don't, here, come, come towards me. It's just still doing it after I do it, so it's like I'm not doing it properly. Yeah. Yeah. This, but you're doing everything according to plan. Okay. This is the hardest thing, and that's why I'm going to walk you through it. Leave it. That's where you... So I would say leave it there. Leave it. Good. And then straighten your body out. See how you're... Yeah, even straight. Straighten out towards me. Shoulders. Yeah, like that. That's really good. Go ahead. Leave it. Leave. Good. See how? See where she's going? Good. And just, yeah, bring her back. Heel. Cheeky. Good. Good. Leave. Leave it. Good. Yep. Good. 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 Leave it. Yeah. There you go. So just reach out for this. Good. Leave it. Good. That's good. Really leave it. it. And then break her out. Good. Well done. Break. Any I was just going to say that um, she doesn't just do it with like strangers. She'll do it with mm -hmm. family. So even if I hug my girlfriend, she will have a problem with that. Yep. The reaction. I don't care what you're reacting to to a certain extent. The reaction is what you can't do anymore. No, no, no. no. We don't do that. Because it causes stress, right? With everything. So when she starts to leave it, that's it. You know, it's just like it's it's inappropriate, and she doesn't need to do it. We're not asking her to jump through hoops here. If I want to hand this guy a walkie-talkie and she's gonna have a go at me, that's a that's not good. Leave it. That was better. That was the best one, and it's just a quick pop. That's it. It's just almost like an attention getter. You're discouraging the behavior. You're disrupting it. So we're trying to teach her that if she leaves it, she's gonna get paid, and if she reacts negatively, she gets the opposite of paid. So she's like, well, this one's way better. And you're like, yes, it is. Lovely, good. Have it, have it ready. And do you have a couple pieces? Yep. Okay, so we'll do it a couple different times. Good. And you don't have to ask her to sit or anything. Just toss this over. <laughs> ah. Leave it. Good. Leave, leave it. it. Good. Now back to me. Good, leave good, it. Good, leave it. Good girl, good. So see that engagement? You pay the engagement. Better decisions. Makes sense, right? Super simple, actually. Yeah, it's so simple. It's no, it is. So much, it's so much easier. It's just done the, you timing. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's yeah. handling. That's all it is. Yeah. Good, leave it. Well done. Good. Nice. No, break her out. Well done. Good job. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. <laughs> nice. That was an oxymoron. I know recall off leash was a big thing, right? I'd love for her to have some freedom. She's a working dog. She needs right. uh, Absolutely. exercise, and yeah. that makes a huge difference in her behavior in general. Yep. Here, so you can pop that on. And just put that below your um, slip for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her on a long line anyway. All right, I'm going to turn my sound box on. Um, so the sound box is exactly how it sounds. So when I use this, it'll sound like this. So right now, we're going to start her off on a five. So okay. you're just going to say her name. You're going to tell her to come. And in conjunction with uh, the recall, I'm going to use this. So go ahead. And pay her when she comes? Yeah, definitely. Rennie, come. Good. 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 And then break. Break. Good. Rennie, come. Good. So a lot of times people will like expect to see something physically out of the dog, and you don't. They just feel it. They just register that low, low, low level. How do I know she's feeling it? Be because of years of experience knowing that that's about where dogs feel it at. We're not looking for a twitch. We're not looking for uncomfortability. We're looking for just register. Do you feel it? That's all it is. Is it like a little uh, wake up call for her then? It's, it's not like a wake up call. It's more of just, it's like if you were standing here and I would be doing this to you and I'm getting your attention. A wake up call would be more like whack, <laughs> I think. But th it's more like getting your attention. So all we're doing is we're tying this in with your voice. So it's, it's conditioning. So you grab your leash, your dog gets excited because they're going for a walk. You grab your treat pouch, you're getting excited because we're getting treats and we're training. The e-collar conditioning paired with your voice over time is an association. So you say the dog's name and you tell them to do a behavior, they feel the sensation. They pair the sensation with your voice. What the hell's the point? Why do we do it? Great question. The point is, is when your dog is off leash, there's no other tool in the world that can actually hold your dog accountable other than the remote collar. Yeah, well, you can use a long line. I'm talking, I'm, I'm off leash. We're talking fields, woods, hiking, the ocean, the lakes. We're talking realistic stuff here, right? So when she goes off leash and we condition this, 
sensation over and 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 over again for as long as he, they live, they know that when they feel this sensation, it's me or anybody else. So right now we're really, really low and she feels it, right? People don't realize like once you start seeing e-collar introduction, the way that this is done, that's actually way harder to, to use than, so it's not a lazy escape thing at all. It's actually a modern piece of a technology here and it's actually a quite, quite a big learning curve. And so I, you know, I'd be able to work a dog fairly quick and get things pretty snappy, but it takes time because you're, you're high. Your timing has to be, you know, really nice. Yeah, so I find it's, that a lot yeah, with, just yeah. in general, like I'm very fingers and Lo thumbs. So load, load your treat, then recall. So right, you don't okay. worry about it. It's just yeah, one you're thing. You're ready then, right. yeah. Ready, come. Go! Good. I want to bring the e-collar around to everybody if they're comfortable with it, and I want to just put it on your skin. I want to see what levels you're at. Ready? Hold. Up, 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 up. I'm gonna page it really quick, make sure it's on, it's on, right? Yeah. Okay. I can feel it now though, but it's not like 18, 28, 20. This dog was just conditioning on a five. So not one person in this room felt it what he was training at. You didn't feel it. I know Doug's skin is different. I know they have fur. I know that everyone changes, but that's not the freaking point. The point is, is it, it's it's like miscommunication on what it feels like. It's just everyone always thinks they're like, oh God, what is this? It's not that. You just feel, oh yeah, I feel it, yeah. So now we're gonna get Ren out and work a bit. And um, I want you to just keep playing. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll, we'll do a leave and then we'll do some healing. And again, like this is, this is really great training to do if you have a dog that um, is a bit reactive, just have them work. And then all of a sudden they kind of, they smell like, she already knows that that dog's in the room, you know? She already smells that dog from here. And then you just work right here in this area, just a little circle here. Good. Try not to be stagnant at all. When you come into a new situation with a dog, you just want to keep kind of bouncing around a bit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Is that still on? <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're good. Come on, we'll try again. So just watch that. Just You can use leash pressure to kind of combat that a bit. Okay? Just nice and relaxed. Good. Heel. There you go. There you go. Good. Yes, good. good girl. So as a handler there, you learned, right? Yeah. You said, okay, I'm not gonna put it here, I'm gonna put it here. Oh, <laughs> cheeky. Leave it. <laughs> All right. Oh, gotta so, think 10 steps ahead it's okay, without it's okay. doing that. It's okay. <clears throat> so this is where you would, what I would do is just be neutral with it. I'd put it right here yeah. and you would walk and you'd work more on the, hey, you can't have that until I release you more thing. Yeah. But <clears throat> the beauty of this is, is guess what? She doesn't care about this dog. She cares more about the tug. Yeah. Go figure. It's Close. Sit. Good sit. Break. Well done, honey. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, we'll move to the prom. Did you see that? Explosive reactivity, the correction. But that, that leash reactivity, she's so used to, and we're going to get on top of it, but she's so explosive, and we're going to be working on that. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Is that right? Yeah, it wasn't bad. She made a sound I not heard her do before. Well, what she's doing is she's building and then you're, you're, you're accelerating it. So she's going Okay, so she's going zero to 10 really quick. Okay, I'm gonna work her for just one second. Good. Okay. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. Good, leave it. There you go. Good, leave it. That's a good girl. Before we talk about what we're gonna do next, we gotta make sure what we're doing Bless you, what we're doing right now works and, and it's proper, proper. What, what am I, who am I becoming? Took two links out, so we're just, we're working. I don't want her to, yep, yep. I don't want her to do that, right? I want her to just deactivate. So we're just messing around with it. And that, this is this is dog training, this is as real as it gets. So see how, when I corrected her with the prong there, it's just a little pressure. Good sit, but we're not gagging anymore. Do you see? Do you understand? So we're not oh, choking but I'm not popping her. So the pop that you're doing is for reactivity. That's a correction. I would consider this more of just a pressure, just a little bit of pressure up like this. Good. 
That's it. It's not, ah, sit. Yes, good sit. Heel. I just want her to yield to this pressure a bit more. Heel. So she senses, yes, good baby girl. Heel. Yes, good girl. So she's sensitive to it, which is good. But again, this is, this is where you have to have a lot of empathy and really understand what's going to be good for her long term. I never want to hear a dog like go, oh, but it's their their dogs and they're okay. We want to say, okay, well, she definitely responds to this really well. The slip, no way. No way, Jose. Let's go over here and just go into a sit and I want you to heal from here to here and you're gonna work on your stay. When she reacts, yes. make sure you say leave it and then correct. Don't just correct. Leave it, then yeah. correct, okay. Yeah. And then what I want to do with you is I want you to do recalls, but I want you to make it fun. So you'll come over here, run, come, yeah, good come. Be good distraction. Just whenever you're ready and whatever you're comfortable with. Don't give her the whole leash because she'll probably take it. You can even do it right there if you're more comfortable. And sit. Good. Yes, good sit. Good. Checked in with you. Good. All right. Heel like right back and forth in here while these guys are doing this. Good. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ren's like, meh, meh. <laughs> That was the best yet, Dave. It was really, really, really good. You probably don't even realize how good that was. Nice job. Really, really good. Keep, keep, keep it up. How you doing? Much better than earlier. <laughs> Ooh, good. Good job. Very, 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 very times 10, good. How do you feel about that, Dave? Good? Yes, good. We're gonna keep working. I can't be more than four meters away. Well, yeah, you'll see. Okay, so let's just see what this looks like. Cause like real, like real separation anxiety would be a bit more dramatic than that. So like clinically separation anxiety would be the dog uh, almost self harming themselves to get back to you. Screaming, yelling, pulling through the prong, jumping, barking, whining, biting to get to you. That was more like, hey, where are you going? She won't listen until that's a different story so she, she like you, okay you so can let's tell her do, to sit and she'll just ignore let's you let's do it now stop and just ask her to sit a little bit of pressure up good we're sitting she won't do anything like, should we go down or say her name and tell, tell her to down she's downing we'll do a spin oh she won't <laughs> spin okay we'll keep going you never had accountability for her behavior so before, when she was on the harness, I would say, yeah, she's not going to listen to anything. You've completely changed your relationship with accountability and control. Yeah, the progress we've had in a day or two has been more, way more than the progress we've had in three years of active daily training, working with her. So it's been a lot to, to actually see it, uh, see the results. I'd say, I'm when necessarily I'm a sort of convert and say everyone has to use it, use kind of a, a prong or an e-collar, but actually I think it shows that if you're using it in the right way with the right training from somebody that knows how to use it, actually you do get the results and actually she's more than happy. She's been like actually sat relaxed with loads of other dogs around her, which I don't think I've ever seen her do, which is just amazing. So yeah, I would say not saying it's necessarily the, the thing that's going to work for everybody, but it does seem to have worked for us. So I'm really excited to see where, what happens and where she ends up. It feels a little bit like we've been conned with other behaviorists <laughs> and that they just, they give you like some crappy things so that you keep coming back and getting more and more treatment when really you can get something else that works and you get real results really fast um so yeah i'm i'm sold and <laughs> yeah definitely yeah there was a day we were out walking she's in range of the long line and it slipped through her foot and she just went off after a dog we just couldn't take it we needed that security of sure. the e-collar and That's it's an changed our lives she's it's yeah. so much happier than she is well, she's having yeah. zoomies again you know? yeah yeah because she gets to be a dog yeah right and you don't have to freaking stress about it that's it the, the e-collar is 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 an advantage it's not a disadvantage i yeah. hate when people are like oh i don't want to have to use it. i'm like that is a privilege man oh, yeah 100 percent. like that's a privilege you have to be skilled enough to, to use that e-collar yeah. her life has drastically improved and there's some 100%. dogs that you know i kind of work with outside that they'd be dead now if we weren't 100%. using an e-collar yeah <laughs> Well done. Well done. Well done. Well that done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good job. Yeah. 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 Very good. So for me, my biggest thing, and I was absolutely in a purely positive camp. I didn't like the look of prong collars. 
I would never have considered a knee collar. I would never have considered correcting my dog. When you have the benefit of a dog that you don't need to do those things for, great, good for you. But for those people that are living with their dogs suffering, you need to put your ethos to one side. I'm proud of myself for going, I need to do what works for her. And me going, this works for her and going, that's what I'm gonna do. She's not a medicated puddle on the floor. And that for me was leaving me only those options. One was medication, which we did do for a short period of time, but seeing a just over one year old, busy working dog laid on the floor sleeping, not playing, no engagement with life. What's cruel? I don't inflict any cruelty on my dog by saying, no, that's not acceptable. And if anything, she's now free to live life. And I can add to that. But so for those people, what do you want for your dog? Do you want them to live? Or do you want them to be constantly living in stress? And I'm proud of myself for making that change. And I think everyone should.